Items on page F26. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing a merry, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled. Sing of God's own Son, Rejoice, daughter of Zion. Behold, your God is coming to dwell in you. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. 
for Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There to set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May the peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Rejoice, daughter of Zion, behold, your God is coming to dwell in you. Blessed are you, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early arising, your going later to rest. You, you toil for the bread you gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of you are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, and blessed is the fruit of your Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. O Lord, you once favored your land, and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people, and covered all their sins. You averted all your rain. You calm the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to 
say, a voice that speaks of peace. His voice, people, and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our Mercy and faithfulness have met, Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your to it, 
so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, that all the Lord promised you will come to pass through you. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith. All that the Lord promised you will come to pass through you. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love. You wished Mary to be the mother of the family in the home of Jesus and Joseph. May all mothers of families foster love and holiness through her intercession. You gave Mary strength at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your Son. 
light in the hardship of those who are burdened, and even their sense of hope. You made Mary open to your word, and faithful as your servant. Through her intercession, make us servants and true followers of your Son. Father John Therese, the repose of the soul of Romulo Cruz, for Father Nathan, for Brother Mershon, for Father Sam, and for all the parishioners here at All Souls, for Sharon Nixon, for all of her intentions. Joan for his grandfather who just passed away. You crown Mary, Queen of Heaven, may all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. St. Odidia, blind from birth, she was miraculously cured on the day of her baptism at the age of 15. Later she became abbess of the Benedictine Monastery of Hohenberg, today Mount of St. Odilia, which had been founded by her father, the Duke of Alsace. Elsewhere the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 